What belongs in a summary of a text? A summary is a statement of all the main ideas in a text. It's short. It only includes facts, not your feelings or opinions. And it does not include minor details, only the important stuff. Let's practice with a text. Yellowstone National Park has many different land features. For example, the Yellowstone caldera is a group of volcanoes. Hot lava from the Yellowstone caldera lies under the park. Yellowstone also contains geysers, or pools of hot water that erupt into the air. The world's most famous geyser is located in Yellowstone. It erupts every 92 minutes, shooting 180 feet into the air. The question asks me what belongs in a summary of the text. In order to answer this, I need to figure out what the main ideas of this text are. It talks to me about hot lava and geysers, but mostly it teaches me about the different things in Yellowstone National Park. In fact, the main idea of this paragraph is actually stated as a complete sentence. It's the first sentence of this paragraph. Yellowstone National Park has many different land features. As I look in this text, I notice that it talks about two main land features. It talks about the volcanoes, and it talks about the geysers. So I know that option A is a correct answer. Yellowstone has land features like volcanoes and geysers. It tells me a main idea of the text. It belongs in a summary. Quickly, I need to check to make sure nothing else here belongs in a summary as well. Option B just gives me a detail. It's too small to include in the summary of the text. Option C does talk about Yellowstone, but it gives an opinion. It says it would be exciting to visit. That does not belong in a summary. Option D doesn't even mention Yellowstone. It probably is not a main idea of the text.